Hey, this is a multi-part series and I have linked part number one in the video description down below. Oh, and if you want to follow along, you go to procurementzen.com slash digital where you can download the resources, chat with fellow students. And by the way, it's completely free. So let's start with video. We have achieved quite a bit in a very short time. In the last lesson, you learned how to reorder columns in your table. And in this lesson, you will discover how you can share your results so far in an easy way. The problem with tools like NIME is that not every one of your peers wants to install it. So how do you share your results with them? Do you have to force them to install NIME? Do they just miss out? Do you keep all the info for yourself? The solution is exporting nodes. The Excel Reader node in our specific case. We have talked in the beginning of this chapter about the many input nodes of NIME. And it has a lot of export nodes as well. The Excel Reader node is our best friend for this workflow because it allows us to share the content with colleagues easily. In an environment they already know, Microsoft Excel. Let's go to the screen and I show you how easy it is to set it up. All right, so we will find the Excel Reader, this time not in the manipulation category, but the, in, in the I.O. or in out category and there under the subcategory write. And here are several writers, but what we're looking for is the Excel Writer. So just select the last node in our workflow, as always, double click and Excel Writer. You see that the Excel Writer has a different color code, so to say. So it is red. Red is an indication for writing notes, so they output something. So um, let's just give it a label, write base data into Excel SX file. That's it. And once again, this is a pretty easy to understand note. So first of all, it will ask us where should it save the file. We just select something, just a moment. Let me just show you. Um, I just do it onto the desktop and I call it um, today's date, 2021, December 23rd. Yes, tomorrow is Christmas. <laughs> PMT optimization. Oops, there's a little typo, optimization like this, save. And then we say, okay, we want to override. Usually I tend to append or fail, but here override due to the date in my um, file name, that shouldn't be that much of a problem. We give the sheet name, uh, or the sheet a name of um, PVO base data. We want to write the column headers because if you remember in NIME, our column headers are outside of the data cells, but of course we want to write the headers into our Excel file. This concept is not known to Excel. And we want to auto size the column in a portrait format and we want to open the file after execution. So you can immediately see how it looks like. You don't have to do this, but that's just how I usually do it when I first create a workflow to see if the output file looks like I expect it to be. So click OK. It is yellow, we can execute it, so let's go. Let's write to an Excel file. So Excel opens up, and look, here is our file we have just created. Wow, look at what you have achieved. You have created an automation, or a robot, that does the following. Import several Excel files from different sources. Delete unwanted rows. Merge the information together. Create a new, more speaking payment terms column. Tidy up your results table and export it back into Excel. That's really a lot. Knowing this, you can automate or robotize already a lot of your daily procurement tasks. But it gets better because in the next lesson, we'll work on the evaluation of the payment terms. 
If you want to go to the first part of this online course, click this video. And here is just another video that shows you some very funny stuff you can do with NIME. Oh, and if you want to download the resources and chat with fellow students, just go here to this page over at procurementzen.com.